Hey guys, William Video Brown coming at you from the lab uh, here in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. Um, and uh, this is the 3D printer that we built last week. Uh, I did a community build for a uh, 3D printer. Um, and I was doing some tests, or a second test print. First one was a failure. Um, second one is a failure as well. I need to get this bed leveled a little bit better here. And I think that, um, I think that the uh, treads here are a little too tight. Um, but other than that, uh, I think I should be able to be printing here very shortly. So, um, yeah, this is the uh, ANET A8 uh, version of the Prusa i3. Um, it was cheap, and I just wanted to get uh, something rolling in the community. There was a fair amount of people that were interested in 3D printing. Nobody was doing it. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to get it initiated and get it going. So, um... I've just been fiddling around with this, learning as much as I can online uh, about it, and um, yeah, I've been learning a lot. I definitely want to get some stuff going here uh, shortly, uh, see if I can't print out something cool for my son for Christmas, and then uh, start printing some parts to upgrade this. I'm going to print out the uh, fan upgrade and uh, a couple other upgrades. Looks like there's some PLA just coming out of there. Um, so yeah, I was just going to, uh, bring everything back to home. And the first time, alright, so, the first time I ran it, um, well, the hop head's on or else I'd move this, I'd, well, first you have to disable the motors before you, the steppers before you try and move it. But um, the first time I ran it, we had actually placed the uh, Y motor here uh, incorrectly, and I had to replace it because uh, the bed wasn't allowing. It, it well, the wires were in the way of the bed going all the way as far back as it could. And then the second time I ran it, uh, or the first time I printed, I realized that this uh, tread here wasn't all the way into the motor, yeah. um, and. Uh, uh, it came a little bit on loose while it was running and it was uneven. So, um, yeah, learning a lot and, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, post updates, uh, as I go. I'll post updates of the first thing that I print and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's William Peter Brown, uh, rocking with the Rep Rep Prusa i3. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, eventually I want to start printing parts for other people to start building their own Rep Rep printers in the local area. Um, basically like printing all the uh, parts that would be acrylic on this printer here and then they can go out and get the uh, metal parts and screws and uh, electronics and then we're doing the DIY electronics uh, workshop in February um, hopefully I can get this thing rocking I'm gonna print out some like uh, retro game cases and uh, do some uh, Raspberry Pi uh, retro Pi portable game uh, devices and stuff like that and uh, yeah just do some fun stuff get people interested in and uh, working with their own electronics and uh, make it uh, approachable for children and then they can learn about this and then uh, go on to build whatever the, uh, whatever else they want to. So, uh, yeah, then we'll be around and uh, we'll get back to you when we get something printed.